Hi, in a previous video tutorial I've explained you how to get started with the popular open source Internet of Things platform IO Broker and to install it on a Raspberry Pi. Now we will continue with a more advanced tutorial. In this video you will learn how to connect a temperature and humidity DHT22 sensor to IO Broker via the machine to machine communication protocol MQTT. I'll be using the open source hardware development board Anavi Thermometer, which has a built in DHT22 sensor and supports a bunch of other peripherals. I have attached Anavi Thermometer to an acrylic stand and connected a mini OLED I2C display to it. As you have seen in my previous video, I have already installed IO Broker on my Raspberry Pi 4. The first step is to install an MQTT adapter. Open IO Broker web interface, click on Adapters and search for MQTT Broker slash Client. Click the plus button to start the installation. It will be completed in a moment. After that, from the instance of the installed MQTT adapter, select Type Broker. Although it's not mandatory for this particular use case, it is highly recommended to enable WebSocket support. In the MQTT settings tab of the adapter, uncheck All Publish options. Please note that in this particular case, we have enabled the built-in MQTT broker in IO Broker. However, it is also possible to use an external MQTT broker and configure this adapter in a client mode. Step number two is to install the HAS MQTT adapter. Out of the box, the open source firmware of Anavi Thermometer supports the specification defined by another open source uh, home automation platform called Home Assistant. In order to use it with IO Broker, we need this additional adapter. As of the moment, Has MQTT isn't part of the official IO Broker adapters. Therefore, we need to install it from a custom URL and provide the link to the GitHub repository. The link is available in the description of the video. When the installation of Has MQTT adapter is ready, create an instance and bind it to the instance of the MQTT adapter. Step number three is to turn on the MQTT broker. From the web interface of IO Broker, navigate to the web page of instances and click the play button for MQTT and Has MQTT. As an open source enthusiast, I'm using Ubuntu Linux on my laptop and I'll use this opportunity to launch a terminal and using the mosquito pub and sub commands to verify that the MQTT broker that we have installed via IO Broker is functioning properly. Let's turn on Anavi Thermometer connected to our Wi-Fi network and to the MQTT broker that we have just installed just plug a micro USB cable in Anavi Thermometer to turn on the board. On the first boot, the default firmware of Anavi Thermometer will create a Wi-Fi access point. From your personal computer, tablet or a smartphone, connect to the Wi-Fi access point created by Anavi Thermometer, a captive portal will open. Follow the steps in it to complete the setup of Anavi Thermometer. You have to select a Wi-Fi network to provide a password for it and after that to type in the IP address of the IO broker on which we have just installed an MQTT broker. Click the save button. Anavi Thermometer will turn off its access point and try to connect to your Wi-Fi router and after that to the configured MQTT broker. After successfully establishing all connections, Anavi Thermometer will send an MQTT configuration message. The Has MQTT adapter on IO Broker will detect this message and based on the data in it, will automatically configure Anavi Thermometer and the DHT22 sensor in IO Broker web interface. Anavi Thermometer combines open source hardware with free and open source software. All schematics and source files, including the Arduino sketch from which uh, the firmware has been built, are available in GitHub. If you don't have Anavi Thermometer, you can do the same with another development board with ESP8266 and DHT22 sensor. Now let's get back to the web interface of IO Broker and use the visualization adapter. 
This is an advanced editor which allows you to configure a web interface from which you can control all your devices. The installation is straightforward. Go to the web page for adapters, navigate to visualization and just install it. When the installation is ready, open visualization. You will see a default layout of an apartment. There are numerous customizations that you can do and some of them are really advanced. However, for this video, I'll keep it simple. Out of the box, the demo visualization already contains a component for showing temperature and humidity. I'll reuse it and I'll bind to it the field for temperature and the field for humidity that are reported over impurity from Anavi thermometer and the DHT22 sensor. Thanks to the instance of the Haas Impurity adapter, these fields for temperature and humidity have been automatically detected from the impurity configuration message sent by Anavi thermometer and its open source firmware. From the user's perspective, everything is super easy. All you need to do is to navigate and find these fields. All complex configurations over impurity has been done automatically thanks to the open source software that we are using. To finalize this quick customization of the demo web interface provided by the visualization adapter, I'll change the title of the component from outside to my room. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's give it a try and test Anavi thermometer. The temperature and humidity values detected by DHT22 sensor are automatically displayed on the Mini I2C OLED display attached to Anavi thermometer and sent in real time over the impurity protocol to IO broker. In front of your screen you see Anavi thermometer. In the back is my laptop with a loaded web interface created by the visualization adapter of IO broker. Keep an eye on the right upper corner of the screen on the laptop because there is the component that we have just created using the visualization editor. In order to test it, I'm gonna use a hair dryer. As soon as I turn on the hair dryer, the temperature increases and the humidity decreases. On every few seconds, DHT22 sensor and the Arduino sketch detects the change of the temperature and reports it over impurity to IO broker. You can see how the temperature and the humidity are reported in real time and shown in the visualization adapter of IO broker. Keep in mind that according to its datasheet, DHT22 sensor isn't very fast. However, Anavi thermometer has numerous slots for attaching additional peripheral devices, including faster temperature sensors. You can attach I2C sensor modules for temperatures such as BMP180 as well as HTU21D. Furthermore, there is a terminal for attaching a one-wire waterproof DS18B20 temperature sensor. If any of these peripheral sensors has been attached to Anavi thermometer, the default open source firmware will take care and report it over impurity the same way as the data from DHT22 is reported. Following pretty much the same steps, you can attach various other sensors to IO broker that follow the impurity specification defined by Home Assistant. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.